Jeff Hoffman here from the Storm Center with an update on the tropics. We do have something, at least an area of interest to pay attention to. We have the National Hurricane Center now highlighting this area in yellow for potential gradual development this weekend. It's days four and days five where something may form here. All is quiet though right now on satellite. No unsettled weather really at all across the Caribbean and even what was across the Gulf earlier has started to dissipate and move across the state. But we have a lot of energy left over from a former tropical storm in the eastern Pacific. And when that crosses over into the western Caribbean north of Honduras and east of Belize, forecast data suggesting an area of low pressure may form. And I've put the L there to highlight this by Saturday and Sunday on future track. A lot of tropical moisture gathering in this area as well and the upper level winds would steer it in the direction of the Gulf of Mexico, but it's way too early to make a credible forecast on what it may or may not become and where it would move. So here are the takeaways. Something's out there. Well, at least something to watch, but it's nothing really yet and it's no threat to the United States. We have a lot of tropical moisture though lingering from the Gulf of Mexico, so I will leave you with the five day rainfall forecast uh, for the state of Florida after I show you that if something forms, it would be named Brett, but it's a little early to make that call. Now we still have a heavy rain risk across the state of Florida, especially central and south Florida in the coming days. Inland areas with that Atlantic sea breeze, potentially up to four inches of rain may fall from now through Saturday.